What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today is our second day, official day in London. We didn't get to do a lot of things that you guys saw yesterday because the bus was freezing, but we did buy a two-day pass. So we will be hopping on the bus. Hopping on and hopping off. To go check out some more landmarks. Hopefully today we can go check out Tower Bridge and go on top of that or something like that. And I'm hoping we can get on the river cruise today. Oh, that would be really cool. It is cold and it is cloudy. I wish it was a little bit sunny. We are a little bit more bundled up today though, yeah. so I feel better prepared. If we finally got our suitcases and got our jackets. And we stuff. got our common sense. I think eventually, once we get our bearings, we should probably just start taking some photos and stuff. Just the buildings and like us in the back. I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I feel like this is a very photogenic area. Literally walking up to this white building, I'm like, oh wow. This is nice. Every little street in London is like a little photo op. While doing our research in London, we did come across a big problem. Supposedly, it's phone snatching. Yo, man, you see? So, we have tethered our phones to ourselves. If anyone tries to snatch our phones during the pictures, they're gonna take us with them. Exactly. Five minutes later. Laura made a huge mistake. <laughs> She's realizing how cold London actually is. Well, I like double layered, but I'm just thinking to myself, like, why don't I just like go back now, put more stuff on, instead of like complaining on the bus. Not I'm trying long. to be responsible. I don't know how long we're gonna be on the bus, and plus on the Thames, it's probably gonna be colder. Yeah, and then you have like the breeze and stuff when you're sitting outside, because that's the better view. Thank you, thank you for calling that out. You're you're welcome. I know it's a pain in the ass. We have to go back, but I'm trying to be responsible. At least it's before we get on the bus and we can't come back. Eventually, Laura, I do want to be able to take a cab somewhere. I know we're supposed to do the tube and all that, but like these black cabs and then the pink one that has the advertisement on it. They're so cute. And there's been like a constant stream this morning of cabs just like lined up here. So they seem like readily available. Maybe if it's like a, a busy hour or it's raining or something like that, we can take a cab. Moments later. All right, well, now that I look like Ralphie's little brother in a Christmas story, yeah. I can't put my arms down. I put a sweatshirt under this. I have leggings under my jeans. I think I'll be okay. Did you bring gloves? Yeah, they're in here. I'm sweating. Great googly moogly. Even though it's a jury day, this still looks so beautiful. It really does give me New York with all these trees. Yeah, and honestly, I can see like the blue sky peeking through, so I think it's gonna clear up nice. Yeah, it never did. For London being such a big city, I would have never guessed it would be a bike country. Like, not a bike country, but a bike city. We've seen so many people riding bikes. Like, look at this. There's another guy right there. Lots of joggers, too. Big cities in the States cars only here it's like london sponsored by uber and they have uber line bikes everywhere you look but i also like seeing these things right here so people can just drive up on the curb and mow down civilians oh is that what that's for which is nice because in the states we have sometimes we have that issue i know we're looking at this building over here Yesterday, I'm like, oh, wow. But I wonder if that's part of the Parliament House. This is kind of on the river. It's the same color. And I believe behind this building is Big Ben. So this might be, Parliament House might be that big. I have seen a lot of like police presence around it. Look at all the people lining up to check get their IDs checked and stuff. So most likely, and then the police at the gate, most likely it's probably Parliament House. Here we go. Our chariot is arriving. Your Uber is arriving. What's the vine? I'm not Uber driver. Yeah. Big bus. You wanna go in or stay at the top? You can stay in. Yeah. Okay. It's empty today. It's a spacious one. Unfortunately, I think we're kind of far from Tower Bridge, so we're gonna be on here for a little bit. I didn't want to get too cold before we got there, so I was like, no, let's stay inside. That's fine with me. <laughs> I really like being on this bus because you get to see things like this, and we get to stay in that warm, somewhat temperature. It really is like such a nice way to spend the day. I'm really excited to get on that river cruise, though. Unfortunately, there's like so much traffic. So we're getting stuck like every five feet. We actually ended up getting off the bus and heading to Trafalgar Square. I want to go check out these Christmas markets real quick and see what they have to offer. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Something hot? Yeah, would you like some mulled wine or I some hot some chocolate? I want some boiling hot soup and some boiling hot mulled wine. Hopefully these aren't just like souvenir stores and they actually have like real food. Let's go check it out. This is also the National Museum, but we will not be doing this today because the line is like, extremely long. Holy <laughs> Sorry. It looks like they have some donuts and stuff. Maybe they have something. They have a gingerbread latte. You want to get that? I think I will. Something for my hands. Wow, they have a custard donut. I think I'm going to do one of those. Did you do a latte? Thank you so much. Look at that. Look at the little gingerbread. I'm gonna have to squish them because I want a lid, but. Yeah, at least eat one of them. 
It's just sugar. It looks like on this side they also have more shops. But this is the famous Trafalgar Square. I believe when they have like protests or like events or celebrations, they usually do it in this area right here. It's so massive with a huge fountain. Oh, they got two fountains. This is literally a dream right now. This is so beautiful, just with all the buildings surrounding it. That's what I was thinking too. Is it this good? This is busting. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it just because it's cold or does it actually taste good? No, it's just like, it's not that sweet, but it's like gingerbread. Yeah. I'm happy. So I ended up getting a custard donut because I've been really wanting some British custard bread. for a while. Yeah? He's got the custard. head nod going. I just wish it was a little warm custard. I didn't realize your red donut had custard in it too. Hopefully it's uh, cream cheese. Ooh, whoa. That is dense. And it's definitely cream cheese frosting in the middle. I can't imagine what it's like when it's cold too. I mean, it looks good. It's just... That's thick. Oh, snap. They got German sausages. We stopped too early. I want a sausage. I'm gonna want a German sausage. You do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe not. I don't know. Depending on how crowded it is. This grill house one, they have cheese fries. I really want a sausage. Yeah, you do. I never turn down a sausage. Look at those things over there. Whole tray of bratwurst. You're supposed to just like walk through this really quick, but yeah. we've stopped like five times because it all smells so good. Oh my gosh! Look at all this sauerkraut. This looks Ooh. so good. Want to find a seat or somewhere to stand? I can go stand over there. Yeah, this was a good spot. Too bad it has like no mustard or, or ketchup or anything. I like it plain. I can't do sauerkraut. Did you see what was behind us? Chocolate strawberry. Oh uh, no. Are you going to get some or are you going to wait a little bit? I'm going to wait to try them. I don't want to try them quite yet. Cheers. Oh, we're not supposed Never to do that. Touch the Wow, very tender. All right, sausage boil, let's see. So I got the curry worth with sauerkraut because I was just like, it looks really good. But I know what this isn't it. I've been chasing this thing of like getting a curry chicken salad sandwich. Haven't found one yet, but I have curry sauce right here. So it's kind of going to be like a little hold over until I, I get it. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe I'll dip my sausage in your curry. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have fun. I don't know who this is for. I know you're not ever supposed to do this, but this is to creep somebody out. We're gonna make eye contact while I eat my sausage. It's a good sausage. What? I will give you $100 if you put your hand in that water over there. $100. It's not worth it. $200. No. I will take care of your cats for a whole month. Litter box and everything. No. Like, not even remotely worth it. Guys, if you're as excited as we are to visit London for the first time and see all the lights, the Christmas markets, all that stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Like this video. And if you're feeling a little bit more frisky, you can hit that join button down below to join our YouTube memberships or hit that link in the description down below to join our Patreon memberships. Both of those come with a few extra perks for you. We finally made it to like my number one place I wanted to go to, which is Tower bridge and it is magnificent we're also next to tower of london which holds the crown jewels honestly the the kind of gloominess is like adding to the environment for me just like behind the castle giving like weathering height but look at this thing it's freaking gorgeous i've never walked over it but i have taken a bus to drive over it hopefully we can get up to the top so we can like walk across the bridge and look down on other traffic do we have to buy tickets to get up there i think so but i don't think they're expensive just magnificent. Oh, I remember the first time I saw this, I was in awe. Literally a background. I should just screenshot this and take a background of it. Being able to walk across this is pretty amazing. I, I'm just loving this view. So many people here. It just sounds like, oh, walk across the bridge, like whatever, but like, this is truly like astounding. And I can't even imagine people like in their work clothes just walking back and forth, like this is their commute to work. Just look, just look at this thing. And then again, you have the Tower of London. Right, you would think the Tower of London was actually like a tower, but it's more of just a fort or a castle, I guess you can say. This is so nice. It is. It really is. I wish it wasn't as cold as it is right now, just so we can just like hang out and, and vibe, but I'm still enjoying this a lot. London, you're really pretty, but the only reason I probably wouldn't come back here is because I have not seen a single cat on the street. Oh, that's true. You haven't had the whisper. So, big thumbs down in my book. One thing we really need to practice on going into the new year is that we need when we first get to a country, no matter what we do, we, we should go tour and stuff like that, but we should do a, a like a official tour, like get a higher official tour guide so we know what's going on. 
We can speak to it what we see, but we don't know anything. I don't know anything about the Tower of London. And I do feel like we kind of spend the first half of our trip dumbling around trying to figure out where we're going. The next trip we go on, we need to just hire some type of guy. Just for a day. Yeah, not, not the whole time, just like for a couple hours, just to get the lay of the land. Because we did that in Portugal and it worked out perfectly. Mm. I wonder if they'll let us go up to the, like, go upstairs. There's not a line. I mean, you are right. I think this is the queue to go up to and it's pretty empty. So it's open daily from 9 30 to 6 p.m. Last entry is at 5 o'clock, but it looks like to purchase tickets now, the Q, you have to scan the QR code. Oh look, you found your first cat. There is a cat. We can come back now. Down to the back, please. Oh wow. Oh, this is a long elevator. We're officially inside the Tower Bridge. It's just crazy to me that this is in, we're in a bridge. It looks like a studio, like a movie studio or TV studio. It's also funny because like the outside of it is so like grand yeah. and then the inside is like a Modern. little music. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Hi baby. You really are missing Jamaica, aren't you? This way to the east walkway. Now we are entering pretty much the two, like you see the two connectors over there. When you come over the bridge, like you look up and it's like the two pathways. So are they both closed, enclosed? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought we were gonna be outside. Isn't this where like Mysterio tried to kill Spider-Man in this bridge? You can see the shard in the background, which is also pretty cool. Even though this tour, like, it's kind of basic, but it's just, you, it's like a gimmick. Like, you try to get in the Tower Bridge, it's still nice that it, I'll still pay for this again just to get out of the cold, because it's nice and warm and toasty in here. Oh, this is a nice vantage point to see all of London. Well, at least part of it, half of it, I guess you could say. What do you think? It's amazing. I could, I could sit up here all day. It looks like the way the Tower Bridge was made was that the Corporation of London held a competition to design a new footbridge and vehicle bridge and also have to let ships in. And I'm guessing this is the design that worked, obviously. This was a competition bridge. A competition bridge? Yeah. They had a competition to design this and whoever won, they made this bridge, which was, looks amazing. I mean, congratulations to them. I believe this was the winning one by Sir Horace Jones. So I just saw something. So in 1976, they had a competition. You come down here. So Horace Jones won that competition, I'm guessing in 1976, or maybe a couple years later. And then the bridge, they started working in 1876. But your boy, so Horace Jones, died in a year later. So he never saw the completion, completion of this bridge. That sucks. I wish it was a little brighter, but do you see this? The glass floor, you can look down. Bet you won't go jump on it. Would you come with me? No. I feel like you'd get in trouble if you jumped on it. You wanna go lay on the ground? Yeah, go take some photos. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, this is this is a weird feeling. I can hear it cracking. Yo, that's that's creepier than um the MSC Freaky. one. Freaky. I've never been afraid of heights, but that <laughs> that's weird. Here she goes. Yeah. All right, ready, ready, jump one. No, no. One, two. We came into the other side, the other tower. And you just look up and see everything. All the way to the top. You have a couple of foremen working on there. And those are the real men. They encased their bodies in stone and put them up there. Sacrifices had to be made. We were just informed of a very cool shot. Come from through the first bridge, come across. And then if you're able to put your camera through the window, you get like a perfect shot of the other tower with the with the flag and all that. That's really cool. That was such a cool tip. We made it to the other side of the bridge and there's someone else taking a photo laying down. No tourist attraction will be complete without a gift shop. Oh, look at cat. that. Cat. Cat. It's like it's, it tra got translated. Oh it's just like cat. cat. And they have bathrooms down here for you. Oh, they? Okay, so I'll see you in a little bit. They have a lot of like nice Christmas ornaments in here. I'm probably gonna get any because I don't think we're gonna have a tree this year. I can see us getting this one. My goal next year is to read a lot more books. So I think I'm gonna cop a bookmark. This one is really nice. Just came across that map. So I just wanna show you guys where we are. We went this way to cross the bridge to start. We went up the lift, walked across the bridges, and then we came down. The gift shop was right here. And now we're heading down. And just like that, we are back outside. It wouldn't be London if we didn't come by a, a a double-decker bus. Classic. We confirmed. It does get darker earlier here, but I feel like it stays twilight longer. So it doesn't just get like straight up blackout dark. It stays like this bluish 
grayish color for a little bit. And I honestly am kind of happy we came later because I think because of that, it wasn't crazy busy. Yeah, because we came, what, 11, 10 yes, the other, yesterday? And we saw a lot, well, we drove past it and we saw a line like down the bridge to get in, so. Maybe it was a bittersweet thing. That Look at that thing. Oh, it's so the architecture here. I think we something to have. Also, I love how you bought a bookmark, but you never read. Because I told them that I am planning to read more books in the future, in next year. Oh, sorry for being so negative. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was here for the Olympics when they like held the rings right above. But you guys can see the little dark areas right there. That's where we were standing on the glass. Look at this view. This is wild. I know. Oh, and the cityscape in the background with the bus. And then here's my last obligated shot of Tower Bridge because there's no bad angles. What do you think about Tower Bridge? I highly, highly, highly recommend checking it out. And I would even dare to say go later in the day, like we mentioned before, because it was still less busy. I agree. I don't know about the summer because it doesn't get obviously get dark, but definitely in the winter, it's warm in there, not as many people. And I'm sure like it's a cool view when there's more light during the day, but it's still like, you could still see a lot and it was still gorgeous. It was worth the money. I think it was like 13 pounds a person. I just wanna let people know that this is not part of the big bus tour. So like they drop you off here you can explore it and pay for yourself, but it's not included in your ticket. The river cruise that we're doing, that's included. Yeah, because we picked the specific ticket where that is included. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, any other attractions that you get off that, you do have to. Pay it for entry fee. Yeah. It's not just our bus, by the way. If you do any like the sightseeing buses, they include the river cruise. Yay! Morning day! What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. And today we are experiencing our last cruise of 2024. Back to our hotel. It is our time to ride on the ferry. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, we are definitely going inside. They got a little store and everything. Oh Laura, this is nice. This is really, really nice. nice. Compared to like other ferries I've been on. Where would you like to sit? Go against the window. It's like stadium seating. It's so warm. I was not expecting this. I thought it was gonna be like some raggedy ferry maybe, but like it's actually like very clean, very kept up. It feels like a little cafeteria. And then they said it's happy hour when we get on the boat. <laughs> so I think there's drinks. This is insane. River Cruise is actually pretty dope. It's like not really a tour, but it is. They make sure they make an announcement before the cruise starts that we're not official tour guys. The, the captain talks about different landmarks and stuff you see as you go down. That thing is gorgeous. The fact that it's just like Big Ben, London Eye, yep. and I'm in the middle of all of it. So there's a Christmas market, Laura, over there. Let's go to that tonight and like just go take a stroll. Over there? Yeah. Okay. Maybe get something to eat, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty close to our hotel. Yeah, let's go try it. Okay. London Eye for a whole minute whilst you're at the top so you can do the I do's. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this. Very right romantic, now. but uh, we don't recommend it. Marriage, of course, that is. Like, just look at Big Ben. That's just in the distance. Can you go inside of Big Ben? I don't know. It's or Elizabeth long. Tower, I'm sorry. <laughs> that went by way too fast. I've always wanted to do a river cruise on the Thames, or the Thames, and I'm glad we were able to do it. It's just, Big Ben, I know it's been like refurbished and stuff, but at the same time, it looks very new. I mean, it looks very old. Oh, I was gonna say it looks very, like it looks like a replica or something. Yeah. Like it's just so pristine. Just think, Peter Pan flew across that with Wendy. He really Neverland. did, in real life. So far, that ended up being like a pretty good, like first 24 hours in London. Oh yeah. I enjoyed it, seeing some of the sights. Can't wait to try more food and do more Christmas markets and more pubs and stuff like that. It was a good start. We've already seen a ton for the short time that we've been here. Yeah. I feel like after this trip, we're gonna be like dogs higher on the plane right back. Oh, absolutely. For right now, I say we go back to the hotel, cool off. Cool off. off. Sorry, warm, warm up, kick the chill off, and then we can head back on, probably go to that Christmas market that we saw last night. Mm-hmm, I might try some chocolate-covered strawberries. I just want some mold wine. One hour later. Look at me. Oh. What? It's just like a beautiful landscape. Oh yeah, for real. Have you gotten used to how fast everyone in London walks? They really do, and the difference between when you stop comparing to Japan, but like Japan, the efficiency and like flow of traffic was so great. Here, not so much. No, everyone just walks wherever you want, so make sure you come and keep in mind with that. But no, I know I'm like walking fast. I already walk fast compared to Laura, and so like I'm just like in my flow, and Laura's like. You need to slow down. And I'm like, I'm just going to speed well, of traffic. Well, like people get in front of me and then like I, I 
get stuck behind. You're a weaver. I am a weaver. You're a wiener. Sorry, <laughs> I just had to. Maybe one day you can do the Shrek's Adventure. I heard that is a waste of money. It's funny because I was looking at that sign. I was like, huh, it looks like it's a Shrek's Adventure. <laughs> it does. And there she blows the London Eye. That thing is huge. Would you want to go on that? Like yes and no. I've heard it can kind of be a waste because you can go like up to what's the tall building? The shard or yeah, one of those and like see like a better view allegedly. I've also heard this moves really. really Thirty minutes. Slow. I'm happy to bring you here. This is the first Christmas market I ever went to. I don't know what the deal is because this Ferris wheel was working last time I was there. You mean the merry-go-round? Well, I am honored to be the first girl that you've ever brought to a Christmas market. Oh my God! Stop <laughs> doing that. <sighs> Every time. They're so sneaky. They so really solid. are. So they have like little cocktail stands and then further down, they have more like home, like Christmas market stalls. Is and this stuff where like you that. got mulled wine that you like? Yes. Okay. I'm on the hunt. Mary Mai Tai. Do you want some fresh cut fries or anything like that? Honestly, I think fries are like the main thing I've eaten while I've been here. Yeah, some chocolate waffles. I know you said you wanted some of those. Honestly, I'm really craving a glizzy. You have all this. And you want an American hot dog. Doesn't it just sound great right now though? Just like a classic glizzy. Oh my dog, right there. I love that it's everything is tap to pay here. Dang, that That's is a, a thick. Fat one. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> it was too big. That's what she said. Good? Yeah. It's more like a sausage than a hot dog. This is what I remember it as. It's stalls and stalls everywhere. There's like homemade things, little clothes over there. We have jewelry right here. I think my first thing I want to buy is the mold wine. I hope it's just like you remember it. Tasting that high. And I might get a waffle or a sourdough toasty, which is pretty much like a grilled cheese. The cheese toasty sounds very good. And here we go. I got my little baby mold wine. Would you like to do the honors of trying it first? Ooh, okay. Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my first drink of the day. That is hot, hot. We can let it cool down. Let's, yeah. try, let's try it again later. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't feel the heat through the glow. So Laura is getting some strawberries finally, and they pretty much just pour the chocolate on top. If you're curious, it's $8. I really hope it's like really warm. All right, give us the verdict. Okay, it's hardening. Mm. Um, chocolate strawberries. It's chocolate strawberries. It's delicious. British chocolate is different than American chocolate. This place had different choices of chocolate. So I got the dark chocolate, 10 out of 10. I love how it's like slightly bitter with the sweet strawberry. This is very good. This is literally two seconds later. Is it all over my face? It's all over your, yeah. You look like the kid that ate the cake in Matilda. <laughs> I've never seen you eat chocolate like this. Cause it's the dark chocolate, so it's not like super sweet. Did you eat all the strawberries already? Yeah, I got the small, so there was only like four strawberries. Now I'm just scooping up the <laughs> excess chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate all over your teeth. I know. <laughs> That's my fiance. I'm literally just sipping my wall wine, being boring. Kenny's here joining us for, for the Christmas market. We're just chilling, hanging out, maxing, relaxing up cool. I don't know. I always say that. I know, that's my thing. Are you guys having a, a decent evening? Yeah, different day? Very we walked nice a lot weather. today. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. And a couple Christmas markets. Very festive, we got yeah. music. We got mini pancakes at the last place. Those were really good. You know what I really want? It's what? like a good slice of pizza. Good luck. No, there's a stand out there that has pizza. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Sausage and a pizza. I'm very American. All you need is a hamburger now. No, thanks for hanging out with us again. For sure. I appreciate Our it. pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. After that little mall wine, I can go for something to eat. I know we just had like a sausage and all that, but that pizza smells so good. It's calling my name. There's also Thai barbecue, which sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, we just have a couple food vendors over here. Fish and chips, pizza, burgers, duck burger, duck wrap. I love this little like section back here. I never would have known this was back here. I thought it was just like a tiny little space, but it just feels like a mini version of the mini market out there. Here's the pizza menu. Laura wants a margarita. I want the buffalo. Best way to solve it, you know it. Oh God. Ready? Yep. Is it just one? Yeah. There you go, margarita it is. He's making it like fresh. Like we watched him just like get the dough out. I feel like it's gonna be good. But what if he's told us that? So he's like, okay, they're gone. I can get it out get of the Get it freeze. out of the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. Why? Zane went hunting and- I have gathered. <laughs> he has gathered. 
Oh, this looks so good. Cheers. That is fresh. The flavor is very, very nice. Like seven and a half out of 10. Later. Well guys, that is it for this amazing day. We should have ended the vlog back at the Christmas market, but we saw someone get their phone snatched because oh. that's a big thing in London and she was not happy. Screaming bloody murder. That was so sad to see, honestly. So we made sure we kept our phones and cameras inside our pockets so no one would snatch them for us. So make sure if you ever go to London, don't have your phones out like this. Get yourself one of these things. Yeah, so pretty much a tether. We saw this at one of the festivals we went to. It's literally a really strong tether and it connects to your phone through there. You can still do everything. It hopefully won't get snatched. Hopefully. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye Travel Squad. Bye guys.